Good evening, everyone. A showdown over carbon pricing in Canada is intensifying tonight. Two parties on opposite sides of the political spectrum joined forces in the House of Commons today to push for more carve-outs. The motion failed, but that hasn't stopped the political pressure on the Prime Minister, who is being accused of playing favourites in a part of the country where polls show he is politically vulnerable. And more of that pressure also came from Canada's premiers today. CTV's Judy Trin leads us off. All those in favour of the motion will please rise. The Conservative motion to remove the carbon tax from all home heating failed, despite having support from the NDP who wanted to send the Liberals a message. It was really divisive to say one region gets help because they voted Liberals and other regions don't because they didn't vote Liberal. I mean, we've got to reject that. Two weeks ago, the Prime Minister announced a three-year pause on carbon taxes for furnace oil. 25% of Canadian homes that rely on the oil are located in Atlantic Canada. I don't share that view that we're playing unfairly in terms of uh, regional representation. Que tous ceux qui s'opposent à la motion veuillent bien se lever. The Liberals defeated the motion with the help of the Bloc Québécois. Quebec has its own carbon policy, so the Bloc rejected expanding the tax break to other regions. Is an idea which goes against the best interest of the whole planet. That only raised the ire and rhetoric of the Conservative leader. What we learned is that he's now got a new carbon tax coalition with the separatists to divide our country. Uh, federal but the premiers are united in their calls for fairness and more carve-outs on other home heating sources like natural gas. We do think that there should be a similar consideration given to the people of Manitoba to get us through this uh, period of economic pain. The debate isn't going away anytime soon. This week, the NDP will table a motion on cutting the GST from all forms of home heating, while the Conservatives want to fight the next election on removing the carbon tax altogether. But Omar, the Tories haven't said how they'll reduce emissions. All right, CTV's Judy Trin in Ottawa.